the time of its ratification, the majority of the American population opposed the U.S. federal constitution established to appoint General George Washington, revolutionary war hero, first president of the new nation. Following the Connecticut and Three-Fifths Compromises and the establishment of a private tourist as electorate to continue the disenfranchisement of slaves in southern states, the die was cast and the U.S. federal government was formed and on that day the Phoenix S. Leviathan was reborn from the ashes of the American colonial revolutionary war. goal as laid out by Hamilton was this, from the U.S. standing army with the federal bank issuing writs, get the mint to print the paper green backs to pay the soldiers with, and trade away the citizens' gold in exchange for foreign armaments. But Thomas Jefferson saw through the scheme, saying, I believe, the banking institutions are even more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. In 1776, Continental Congress's Article 6 of Confederation clearly states it, and five of the first 13 colonial states were stipulate that standing armies in times of peace are dangerous to liberty and ought not to be raised without consent of the legislature. citizen writing as Brutus in 1788 compared the measure to the crossing of the Rubicon by Julius Caesar or the treachery of Oliver Cromwell, both of whom he states explicitly were complicit in aggressively disarming all of those opposed to them in open conflict. So with appeasement from Alexander Hamilton, the Second Amendment to the Bill of Rights was drafted in by James Madison and George Mason, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed upon. Even Noah Webster recognized this, before a standing army can rule, the people must be disarmed as they are in almost every kingdom. True. This amendment was added later, 1791. By the time Jefferson became president in 1801, it was too late to overturn the ruling established in the Constitution, 1787, Article 1, Section 8, setting appropriations funding for a standing army by Congress at a two-year interval in check and balance with the elections of new members to seats in the twin houses of Congress. of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. It is its natural renewal. Thomas Jefferson, 1787.